Hey everybody, welcome back to the 3D Printing Corner. Um, I'm Jason and this is going to be part three of our budget or bust filament reviews. Originally I had planned to be reviewing this gray filament from 3D Solutech, but uh, several of the uh, Facebook requesters have uh, asked. I skipped that one right now. It'll still be coming next, so it'll come in a couple of days. Uh, but everybody is really curious about Inland PLA. So, I've decided that's what we're going to go for. So, I picked this Inland PLA up in Chicago uh, at Micro Center. Uh, in Micro Center, it runs for $14.99 uh, per kilo. If you buy it online, I believe it's $17.99. Uh, so, either way, great price for a kilo. Uh, it comes in a really nice box. Um, it comes well sealed with uh, desk and packs. Uh, it comes in a very nice spool. Um, nothing fancy about the spool. It is standard size. Uh, the thing I do like about this particular spool is if you look, we've got our printing instructions here, so our temps here. We also have them on this side, so you don't need to worry about which way the spool is setting or what. You can always just look right at the side of your spool and you can see it. Um, I also do love this color. This is their light blue. Um, I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera. Uh, but here is the coin. So this particular PLA, it was printed at 205 degrees on the hot end and it was printed at a 60 degree heat bed. Um, I have printed with this already without a heated bed at all and it's stuck just fine. Um, I just prefer to do a, you know, just warmed up heat bed uh, at between 50 and 60 degrees normally. Um, it's stuck nice but not too nice. I was able to pop it off the bed with my hand and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, the lettering is all very crisp. So I'll show you guys that. Um, we've got really nice crisp lettering. Um, you can see here it's very uniform in thickness. Um, you can barely even feel the layer lines in the dip here. Um, so all in all this is probably my favorite PLA I have printed with yet. Um, it's also probably one of the cheapest. Uh, I want to say I've only got one, two PLAs here um, that I've worked with that have been cheaper and we'll find out a little bit more about those in the coming days. They're probably not going to be nearly as nice uh, of a review as this one. The only thing I would say about this one and I could probably get rid of it by turning my heat bed down just a little bit and maybe turning my, uh, messing with my first layer settings a little bit is it's got the tiniest, tiniest bit of elephant foot. Um, I'd show you, but I don't think you would even be able to see it. Um, you can see though the first layer itself is absolutely smooth. Um, it just it just spread out just ever so slightly uh, during that first layer print. Other than that, it, the the tops around the points is smooth. Uh, the points themselves are nice and smooth. You can't see the layers in between on the coin at all. Um, where it's stepping down for the divot here, you can barely feel it. I mean, it is it is uh, done in a layered process. It's printed on a normal PLA printer, um, but you can just barely feel them. Um, absolutely 100% this is a true high quality budget filament um, this will probably become my go-to for PLA uh, it's cheap it works at standard PLA settings it's just easy to use it came right off the bed dimensionally it's perfect it's slightly more dense than some of the higher quality PLAs that I've used. That I, want, I don't want to say higher quality because this is really high quality stuff. Um, the higher end PLAs that I use in that it weighs 
this particular coin weighs about 11 grams so it's, it's about an extra gram for the exact same size part uh, this is a protopasta PLA this one weighs 10 grams exactly um, I know it weighs 10 grams exactly at this size in other higher end PLAs this one it weighs 11 so it's slightly more dense when printed with the exact same settings um, yeah so this one's absolutely budget um, like I said you can get it uh, on their website for about $17 and I, I believe it's $17.99 for a kilo uh, or if you happen to be somewhere where there is a micro center um, it's only $14.99 off the shelf um, there's this light blue they also had reds and blacks and blues and greens and all the colors of the rainbow um, and they're all just sitting right there on the shelf at $14.99 a kilo so you cannot go wrong um, Inland PLA, absolutely, 100% true, high quality, budget filament. All right, everybody, this has been the 3D Printing Corner. Uh, we're going to be coming back here in a couple of days. I'm going to get to this 3D Solutech next. Um, that'll probably be possibly tomorrow. It might be Thursday. Uh, and then after that, we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six different budget filaments to review. So we've got a lot of content coming up still, so if you're interested and you're liking what I'm doing, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, any suggestions for other possible budget filaments that you guys might have out there, I'd love to hear about them. I'd love to try them out. Um, this is not going to be the last budget or bust uh, set of reviews out of my channel. We'll definitely do a part two and probably more than that as we go forward. Um, you know, everybody reviews the high-end filaments. Everybody also always wants to buy the cheapest filament that they can get by with that's going to do what they need it to do. That's what I want to show you guys. Is I want to show you guys what is a cheap filament that's really just junk and what's a cheap filament that's actually worth the money and it's worth a lot more money than they're actually charging for it. All right, everybody, like I said, 3D Printing Corner, I'm Jason. Here's the corner. If you're liking what I'm doing, click that subscribe button down below. Leave me comments. I'll get back to you. And thank you very much. And everybody have a good night.